I'm not gonna lie, but I'm starting to feel just a tad bit sketched out when it comes to Call of Duty 2020. No, usually we would see something, just even the slightest bit of a teaser being released about the next Call of Duty game, at least by this date, but we've seen nothing. Nothing official from Activision, nothing official from Treyarch, nothing official from any of the specific developers. We haven't seen anything relating to Call of Duty 2020 at all. The most that we really see are leaks. And the leaks are that it's supposed to be Call of Duty Cold War or something like Black Ops 5. You know, it's supposed to be in the Vietnam uh, Cold War type era. So basically, we're taken back to the Black Ops 1 time period. But keep in mind, none of this stuff is confirmed, even though a lot of the stuff that these people are leaking are from, you know, really reliable leakers. People who have been right multiple times in the past, which makes it, you know, really reliable stuff that we're seeing here. But it's not as good as knowing the official thing. You know, knowing officially from Activision what this game is going to be is a lot better than having someone leak information out not knowing, half-ass knowing if it is true or if it's not true. It's starting to make me wonder if this game is actually cancelled or if they are going to push this video game back. I highly doubt they're going to cancel it because a lot of these developers, and as we all know with all the stuff that's going on right now, I think it's slowly starting to die down a bit where I'm, I don't even think it's that much uh, craziness going on from what I'm currently seeing. But a lot of the developers have been sent home with a lot of high-tech equipment, so these guys have exactly what they need to design a video game. Now, the biggest problem is being able to communicate, because obviously, in a game development studio, or in these specific studios that these people work with, a lot of communication is key to making a very successful video game. If they can't communicate, if they aren't on the same page, if they're not all trying to make this game around one similar concept, things will get off, things will, will pretty much turn out awful, and the game will just be an absolute disgrace. That's probably the biggest thing that will probably go down here, but regardless, they have the equipment. They have the stuff that they need, and I guess it's just as easy as doing a little Discord call and just chatting with your, you know, co-workers and figuring out what's going on. I can't imagine it being that complicated that they're going to need to push back this video game. The main reason I personally think that this game hasn't been shown by Activision or any trailers have been released or anything of that sort, and I hope that I don't eat these words because I have a feeling that <laughs> once I make this video, they're going to release something which is going to have to make me com completely scrap this video because... I don't think it's any possible way that I could post this video, maybe if I retitle it or something, but I highly doubt they'll release a trailer within the next day. But the re main reason I think that they haven't posted anything is not because they canceled the video game, but I think it's because of their genius marketing plan. As you guys know, Call of Duty has the best marketing team in the universe. I mean, it's, it's only, that, that's the only possible way, or the only possible reason. To why they could sell this video game every single year. How could they keep something like this going on for 10 plus years, which is pretty much a copy and paste, let's be honest here. Call of Duty is the same exact game every single year with minor tweaks and differences. How else could they possibly keep and maintain a video game going on for this long? It's the marketing. The marketing does it all. And I think that this is just all part of their marketing scheme. They know that the community is used to this. They know that people are used to the release cycle. So why not throw it off a little bit? Why not confuse people? Why not, you know, make them think a little bit harder, anticipate your video game a little bit more? Especially knowing that a lot of the community is very aggravated with what we got when it came to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They know people are very annoyed with the whole systems that are going down in this video game. So I think they are already knowing that we're anticipating this game heavily right now. Especially with, you know... Call of Duty Modern Warfare being out for as long as it usually is. I usually give these games about like maybe four, five months if it's really good. But then after around four, not even four, probably three months, the mass majority of the community dips out of the game and they go on to something else. Call of Duty doesn't usually last very long. You know, it's not a game that will last a couple of years unless I guess they do make them and then, they, you know, force that game to last a couple of years and then release another one then wait a couple of years. But since they come out every single year, the mass majority of the people who purchase Call of Duty usually drop off around the three month mark to four month mark and then they're gone forever, which leaves it to the core Call of Duty fan base, which will maybe last around five months to six months. And then after that. It gets really bad, especially when it comes to content and streaming and stuff like that. People just completely start dying off. 
and it just gets very bad for Call of Duty people. And that's when everybody starts building up their hype for the next game. And I have a very, very strong feeling that Activision knows this whole cycle now. They know it in and out. They know all the details and all the statistics to make sure that they could possibly twist this whole release around. And they are planning out probably one of the biggest reveals that they could possibly get out. I can only imagine how they're going to possibly reveal this. I've been hearing rumors about maybe revealing it in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Warzone, and stuff like that. But I, I don't think that they're going to do it. I feel like we're going to get an actual trailer like we usually do. And I just hope it's a very good trailer. I hope that they don't mess around with this. I want to see multiplayer straight out the bat. I want to see the campaign. I, I honestly want a little bit of everything. I hope that they make three separate trailers. Obviously, don't cram them all into one trailer. I want a campaign trailer, multiplayer trailer. And if they're going to pop off with zombies, I want a zombies trailer. And hopefully, we'll get to see them all in one day. Or if not, maybe they'll span them across three separate days. But I, after all this time that we've been waiting, yes, I understand that's a very, I don't know if it is a strategic move that Activision is doing, or maybe they are just that held back that they need some extra time to put this stuff together. Maybe they don't have time to put together a trailer because they're still trying to put together the game itself, and it doesn't look polished enough to make a good-looking trailer. Who knows what the situation is, but I still think that is just the marketing. But I really do pray to God that... We don't have to suffer with Modern Warfare for two years straight. Now, I, I can tolerate it probably. I, I think I could get myself through it, but it's a lot of people out there who cannot. And I know a lot of content creators who will suffer very dramatically if they force us through a two-year cycle on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I just don't think it's fair overall. You know, just our mentalities as Call of Duty players, we know it's a Call of Duty game that releases every single year. So if they were going to make us wait two years for a Call of Duty game, it would have been much better if they let us know ahead of time. Let us know that the current Call of Duty game that's about to release is going to be a two-year cycle Call of Duty game. So we're going to play this Call of Duty game for two years. That way, we're prepared. We are mentally trained and prepared for the next cycle. Instead of, you know, right now, where we're ready. You know, we as a community, we're ready to move on. We're ready for the next Call of Duty title. We're pumped up. It's that time of the year that, you know, the current Call of Duty game is going to die down a little bit, and we're all ready to move on to a new experience in Call of Duty. And if they say that Call of Duty 2020 is canceled, or if they say Call of Duty 2020 is going to be dramatically pushed back, which would probably not be the case, if they're going to push it back... It probably won't be that long, maybe a month, because you have to understand, they're not going to miss, you know, our Christmas season and, you know, the time for all the gifts and everybody's going to be asking for the next Call of Duty game and stuff like that. If they're going to push it back, it's not going to be longer than that. So they're either going to cancel it or they're going to push it back a little bit, but it's not going to be anything other than those two options. And if they do push it back very, like they really need a lot of time to push it back and they don't want to cancel it, then it's going to be a for another year. Which means that we will be stuck with Call of Duty 2020, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare, sorry, not Call of Duty 2020, I don't know why I said that, but Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we'll be stuck with that game for a complete two years. Which, like I said, I could probably tolerate it, it's not what I exactly wanted, I'm very happy and excited to see what Treyarch can get out of a, a Black Ops 1 styled video game, I really did enjoy Black Ops 1, so I think it'll be cool to re-experience what they can do with that styled video game with a new engine and stuff like that. I just really hope that they can get this video game out and that they could produce it for their fans. But guys, it will be absolutely amazing if you went down into the comment section and let me know your personal opinions about the whole topic in today's video. Do you think that Call of Duty 2020 is going to be canceled? Do you think it's going to be pushed back? Or do you think it's going to be put out on a regular schedule? And do you think it's going to turn out good or do you think it's going to turn out bad? Remember, Sledgehammer Games was in charge of this game and they basically got demoted off of it. So Treyarch can come and take control of this title. And I don't know what the whole reason was behind that. To save it? To help it? To try to improve it? What was the reasoning behind removing Sledgehammer from their own video game? It just doesn't seem that logical to me. I'm going to be completely honest with you. And why haven't we seen this game yet? You know, it's, it's almost June, right? Yeah, yeah, it's almost June. <laughs> I forget my time. Jesus Christ. Oh, this quarantine has been just driving me absolutely absurd. But we should have seen something by now. We should have seen something, even the tiniest bit of something, just to know what the next Call of Duty title is going to be. Why are they holding it away from us? Is it to hype us up? Is it to make us excited? Is it, like I said, because they can't release it? I just want to know your opinions down below, guys. Make sure you go down there and just say whatever you feel like saying.
But if you guys enjoyed today's commentary, don't forget to go ahead and leave a like. And as always, if you hated it, you can always dislike it, whatever your personal opinion is. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me or even see what I'm talking about with video games, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Man. And if you want to catch me live stream, I do that over on Twitch, at Man. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.